Closing out, the New England allowed Cam Newton to leave camp to go get a medical procedure done elsewhere, and apparently there was a misunderstanding of the league's COVID-19 protocols, and that has caused Cam Newton to have to miss five days of training camp, five days of practice leading into the final preseason game, and, you know, he, he's in a bit of a... I don't think this battle. Is, yeah, a bit of a quarterback battle with Mac Jones. Jones has played really well in the preseason. We know that the preseason doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it, this is a bad time to be missing time, especially with how Cam missed the end of last season. Now, this pretty much validates Cam Newton has not gone to get vac- uh, vaccinated. And I don't necessarily have a problem with that because he had COVID before. So, whatever. I it, Outside of that, the league's rules stated that if you leave the facility for a medical procedure or whatever, that even if you get tested the whole time that you're away, if you're not being tested by, what is it, like a team doctor or something like that, then then basically the tests don't count and you have to quarantine for five days before you're allowed back in the facility? Is that how yeah, this works? Yeah, so he, he left, he had the approval, and he tested himself every day or was tested every day he was gone. and he, And he's come up negative every time. But because they specifically didn't do the test, which I'm not sure how they do it. Like, are you going to send somebody with him to like follow him every day? I, I have no That's idea weird. how that would work. Like, I don't know how that would work either. So I, I I hadn't been able to figure this out because at first it was okay. So so Newton messed up, and then it was like, no, the Patriots messed up. But now it's like they now I don't know who it is. Uh, the the, yeah, the article, NFL rules are insane right now. The the CBS article says Patriots frustrated internally with the Cam Newton misunderstanding of COVID protocols per report. But I don't know if that means that the Patriots are upset with themselves. No, they're upset with the league. That he, he was he was approved by the league by the league to go get this procedure. Everyone knew where he was going and what he was going to be doing while he got there. He, they knew that he was going to be tested the entire time. This was the agreement that the Patriots and Cam thought they had agreed upon, that everybody was okay with. When he gets back, the league steps in and says, whoa, 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 whoa. This is not what we agreed upon. Sorry. The rules are too confusing, and they're too complicated. It shouldn't be this complicated. And I know that there's a side of the aisle that's going to say, it's not that complicated. If you're not vaccinated, we don't want you in the building. That's fine. The those people are unreasonable, and we can't have this conversation. We can't function in society that way because there's too many people that are choosing not to be vaccinated. Yeah. And I am not going to, I'm not willing to just cut off life with that many people in the world of society. I think we need everybody as a whole to function as a, as a group of people for our country to be successful. So there, he, he has nothing but negative tests. Yeah, and and he's now back with team doctors, and they're giving him constant negative tests. And he was in controlled atmospheres the entire time that he was gone, and yes. when he came back, this this I was not Dwayne Haskins going to the strip club after no after a game or or whatever the NBA player was that left the basketball arena for a funeral and then went to the strip club for some wings. Yes. This is not that he followed every rule that he thought was in place. The Patriots thought everything was good, everything was right. This is a problem with the league. The league is making things way too complicated, and in my opinion, far too strict. Far too strict. This is, some of these rules are just ridiculous. Pat McAfee had his conspiracy horns up, right? And his thought process was: Bill Belichick and that organization are the best run. Or- they know every rule inside and out. They know everything. Do we think that they okayed this for Cam to leave so that they could get more time with Mac with the ones? No, I don't no. think so. <laughs> it, it, you know, let me tell you what that is. I know, I know yeah. McAfee's your boy and you love yeah. that guy and all, but McAfee spent his entire career getting his ass whooped by Bill Belichick. Yes, okay. He did. So that, that is sour grapes all day long. I don't That's think it's all sour grapes. Is. I think it's, oh, I think it's hundred percent sour grapes. No, it's just, it's just a conspiracy theory. Like that's all it is. And it, it, it ain't worth nothing. Because but, let me tell you something. If there's one coach in the league that doesn't need an excuse to put the other guy in, and 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 bench the the first guy. It's Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick doesn't care. 
he he, will, he doesn't care about Cam Newton's feelings. He doesn't care about any of those players' feelings or, or stepping on toes. If he thinks the other guy is going to get him the best shot to win, that's what he's going to do. Do you think that this could have something to do with the locker room? No, no, I, I, zero, zero. We've heard no problems out of that locker room. No, 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 I, that, that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying could this be because the locker room loves Cam so much that this was the way to kind of get Mac more reps with the ones? Once again, everybody that puts on that Patriot uniform understands what happens when they sign with the Patriots. This ain't the Jets. This ain't the Colts. This ain't anybody else in the league. This is You're coming to work for Bill fucking Belichick. Yep. All right? And when best you come in up. here, I do not care about your feelings. I'm going to do what's best for this team. I expect you to do what's best for this team. And if that embarrasses you or if I have to bench your friend, then so be it. Tell your friend to get better. Stay after and work with him and make him better. Yeah. But we are going forward with the best player. And if Cam Newton starts, because Bill believes he's the best quarterback for the job for that day. If Mac starts, it's because he believes Mac gives him the best chance to win that day. That's it. End of story. Bill, Bill will play games with the media. Bill will play games with the opponents. Bill will play games with the refs. Bill will play games with the leagues. Bill does not fuck around with his, with his locker room, with his coaches staff, with his teammates. This is exactly why I wanted to bring this up with you. 100%. Because I, yeah. I know that I will get a true answer and answer, ask, go, go find anybody that's worn that Patriot uniform and not, not, not a lifer. I'm not talking about go find Teddy Bruschi. Okay. Go or, or Mike Vrabel. All right. I, I'm talking about go, go talk to uh crap. Jesus. He goes on the Ryan Russell show all the time. He, he was with the Patriots for like a weekend and won a, won a Super Bowl. Then went with the Eagles. Anyway, Chris Long, Chris Long. That's it. Jesus Christ. I was trying to think of Howie Long's son. Chris, go ask Chris Long and Chris Long will tell you. When you walk in that locker room, you all agree it's different here. It's different. He had more fun playing in, in, with his other teams than with the Patriots. But when he agreed to go there, he understood, I'm agreeing to work in a different environment than I've ever worked in. I'm agreeing to come somewhere where, where I don't get the say that I used to have, and it's not because of my abilities. Nobody gives a shit about my leadership. When when there's a there's a clip going around Twitter right now of of uh, James Harrison talking about when he got there, like he saw he was like getting ready in the locker room and he saw Tom Brady hauling ass down a hallway running late for a meeting and he was like oh, shit I thought if Tom's running I better run and he stopped getting ready and just half dressed took off to the meeting, realized they're four or five minutes early. Like he still had plenty of time to finish getting dressed. Yeah. And he was just like, that's the philosophy here. Like he was like, I don't know what happens if you're late for a meeting because nobody's late for meetings. Like we just don't have that problem. Nobody's ever been late while he was there. And it's just, things are done differently. And so I assure you, no games are being played inside that locker room. Lots of head games outside of the locker room. Zero head games inside the locker room. They don't screw around. Yeah. So so no conspiracy, no nothing. This no. is really a the only conspiracies are going to come out are from people who have been burned by the Patriots organization and Bill Belichick their entire career, whether it be media or on the field. Makes he sense. makes those guys cry. They try to pick on him afterwards. That it does make sense. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.